Welcome to the Terror Dome in New Orleans, Louisiana, where it is never safe to go out in public on Fat Tuesday. Why is that, Grim? Uh, that's because Tuesday's when they have to lure the zombies back into the stadium, so they let a few fat people out to lead them back inside. You know, a little bait. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Carolina Panthers. The New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Newtons, I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Oh! I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho ho! Va 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 boom! And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnet. If he was still talking, he'd be saying. Psycho killer Keska say, yeah. what the fuck, 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. Touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Third down and long. Picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he snags the punt. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Reception. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turds on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. He refuses to go. To he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And 
sides. First and ten. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing and it's first and ten oh with the bone crushing hit you can eat a six this guy bricks i never learned how to count that high And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. And, now that is weird side effect, Bricks. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. He's at the... That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. First and eight to go. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And that'll bring up third and one. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey, Grim, what do you call a wolf who is intuitive? I don't know, what? And a werewolf. <laughs> oh, man, I just cracked myself up. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. He is fighting for every yard. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the point. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wow. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his... The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. <laughs> Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and nine. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball.
know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get the return man catches the ball and heads. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Oh, man, what a throw. Let me tell you, getting shot is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shit carpet for eight hours. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. It's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. First and two. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. The quarterback, and he's running like a moose right now. <laughs> Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. Second down and long. A pickup of about three on that play. Third down and the punter is warming up. At this point, with multiple interceptions, oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. QB is using, but if that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks.
defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. Oh, the defender almost kicked off the ball on that one. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. First and ten. It's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. It's first and ten. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Hot Sorry, one, partner. Hot two, hot, hot three. And they call a one dirty trick. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He's at the 40. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got to the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And that'll be second and eight to go. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Pressure right there, folks.
Two. Hot. 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 Receiver runs away from the pass marker. That's a good clue that something's not right. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Third down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he was stuck to him like glue. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will get it on the 20. And it's first and 10. Scrambler. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. <laughs> Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up with a crack of nose. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams line up for the second half kickoff, deadlocked in a tie game. Briggs, there is nothing worse than a tie game. Uh, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to say a tire iron in your face. Well, that's a good point. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my head. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot. 
Not one. Eight. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback, man, what a hit that was. And that's another turnover for the defense. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. I know. I hate those zebra men. First down and inches. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First down and nine. for the touchdown. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. Ah, another interception. Easy. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. It appears that the rep just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I almost wanted a pair of skin shoes, Grim. I heard, though, when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. First and goal. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hey. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. Second down and six. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hey. And the quarterback throws it. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Running toward the end zone. 
Bush. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Second and three. Hot, hot one. I don't know whose eyes the QV is using. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. I will heal an old son First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for that. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Ten yards. Second down in inches. Hot one. Eight. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkey getting wrapped it on his backside from that bad Bernie in last year. Don't want to get some fun on your time. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know what? The defense goes for the jugular. It's not how many times you fall. It's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Oh, I'm going in circles. First down and seven. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Look at those moves. His teammates better complement his dancing skills. Otherwise, there's going to be a pile of dead bison in the locker room again. Uh, Steve goes, you know, now. You 
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Second down and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Good thing to do. Cleats are pink and blood and guts, and he's looking to score. But ten. He scores! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Hey. The kick is good. Hmm, as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked That 
would be correct, Bricks. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Apparently, the visitors knew to aim for the head because we've pretty much run out of zombies. Game over for them. They lose in a forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare about tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.